extra special episode of Supercar Saturday because today is my main man's birthday. Happy birthday, Floyd. I know, I know. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for you guys. Thank you for everybody for your support for Supercar Saturdays Florida. It's going to be a special day. Yes, it is my birthday, and it's also Super Bowl weekend. Yay. Well, yeah, we're going to have a fun day today. Like I said, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Thank you for all the support, and just have a good day today. Thank you. And with that, let's get going. <laughs> one of the most iconic cars of all time. This is the Ferrari Enzo, named after the company's namesake, Enzo Ferrari, of course. But what makes this car extra special is this is a one of 10 car, one of 10 cars ever produced in black. Yes, this car came from factory painted black and it's one of less than five with the black and red interior. Come check it out. Untrained eye, the SUV behind me might look a little outdated, but those that know better know that this is a first generation Porsche Cayenne, or as it's better known, the first ever official super SUV. Now, the Porsche Cayenne has a special place in my heart because it's an insanely overpowered four wheel drive car. They still produce it today, but this was the first time we saw Porsche create a major SUV that dominated it on the road, dominated off road. These are amazing cars. This one specifically is owned by a very talented local artist. Her name is Jen, aka Genetic, and we'll drop a link to her art down below. look at the row of cars behind me. You may not realize these, but these are very, very well done kit cars based off of the Shelby Cobra. Now what makes these cars extra special is the chassis themselves is so painfully close to the real version of the car, which are very, very rare to see and incredibly expensive. So a lot of people have taken to building these beautiful examples of kit cars. They're very, very raw, borderline street legal race cars, but most of them are powered by the iconic 427 engine. Come check them out because each one of these kit cars is just a little bit different and has their own flair to them. the fifth generation Dodge Viper, or as it's more commonly known as the Widowmaker. Now, the first generation Dodge Viper proved to be a true chaotic monster on the road. Absolutely difficult to handle for anyone short of a very, very talented driver. But by the fifth generation ACR, we saw this car so dialed in that it became a true chat monster and a supercar killer. This one is finished in grabber blue and underneath the hood, you still have that incredibly powerful V10 engine. Now come check out all of the aerodynamics on this car that tell you that this is the ACR and not just the base model Dodge Viper.
driving today? Um, I'm driving this beautiful green RS3. It has no registration at the moment because it belongs to this man in the pink STO. It's pink, not purple. Uh, it's purple. You know, Daza power, all wheel drive, does good launch control. That's about it. Now, you've driven a lot of supercars, so how would you rate the RS3? It's so slow. Is it really? It's like painfully slow. Can we take a look inside at your very slow sedan? Every single option except carbon ceramic rings. And it's still slow. What engine does it have? It's a five cylinder, basically half an R8. How much power does it make? It's like 500. And it still feels slow. Is it just heavy? Not really. It's a it's shitty power you curve. You're, you're going slow. That's fair. Well, maybe next month you'll bring something better. Thanks, Nick. about your truck today and this insane wrap and your insane suspension. Absolutely can. So this is a complete chrome gold wrap, one of the most expensive wraps that you could do to a vehicle. It is a complete pain in the ass to install. Nobody wants to touch it. And uh, yeah, we're setting up high on a 20 inch lift, baby. What's your Instagram so people can follow you? The Golden Cummins. And uh, just to let you know, we're getting famous as fuck. I don't know if you can swear on here, but that's what we're doing. I'm here for it, hell yeah, thanks. wrap on another great supercar Saturday. Thank you for everything, Floyd. What are you guys doing now after your birthday? We got the police trying to get us out the way, but I want to thank everybody for coming out to my birthday. Thank you guys as always. It was an amazing birthday, an amazing week. Looking forward to Super Bowl tomorrow. Thank oh, yeah. you. Yeah. Enjoy the world. We'll see you later. <laughs>